针对高压跟特高压的产业用电的部分，那调涨电价十五 percent。The Ministry of Economic Affairs announced on Monday that large industrial users will need to pay 15% more on electricity starting on July 1st, while households which use more than 1,000 kilowatt hours will see their rates rise by 9% for every additional kilowatt hour used. As electricity prices remain unchanged for average households and small businesses which consume less than 1,000 kilowatt hours, the overall price hikes will see an average increase of 8.4 percent. This means the electricity rates will only rise for those who see electricity bills higher than 7,904 NT dollars during the summer and 6,592 NT dollars for the other seasons. 基本的民生的一个电价不涨，那怎么说呢？第一个部分就是一千度以下的住宅，以及小商家，以及低压的这个小工厂等这些用户不涨。那如果更进一步来做补充说明的部分，就是一千度以下住宅。However, the heads of big industrial companies like Far Eastern Group Chairman Douglas Xu and former chairman of the Chinese National Association of Industry and Commerce, Lin Bofeng. Remarked that the price hike shouldn't be directed only towards large corporations, but should be increased among average households as well. To this, MOEA Minister Wang Meihua stated that the price hike was inevitable, as it needed to be adjusted to reflect the continuously rising global fuel prices. Uh, many countries have been adjusting the price of fuel and gas. Actually, we have also been collecting information. Taiwan is now. 呃，全球大概数一数二的低。Though Taiwan's electricity rates are indeed among the lowest in the world, the Taipei Metro System still called on the MOEA to continue electricity discounts for them in order to combat inflation. 在今年。As fuel prices continue to increase worldwide, the MOEA assured the public that Taiwan's rates and price hikes are already better controlled than most. TVBS English News.